Disclaimer, everyone. If you hear any background noise, it's probably me playing the Monster Energy Supercross game. Like, you hear background noise right now. Um, don't mind it. It's not about it. This is why your favorite rider will probably not win the Supercross Championship this year in 2020. Let's get to it. Okay, let's get started. The first rider we're going to talk about is the rookie Adam C. Cerullo. This is why I think he's not winning it this year. Three, re Two reasons. One, he's a rookie. And two, the class is just so stacked. I mean, I know we say it every year. But when you got Red Bull KTM out here rigging these races and paying the AMA, there's no way, there's no way he's going to win it. I know he did great at Monster Cup. That was awesome to see. But it's not going to translate well to actual Supercross A17 race series. He will probably finish fourth in the series. I give him a win, but not the championship. Let's go. Marvin Muskan, let's get him out of the way. I know he's on a team that's rigging the races and snatching all the championships every year. But, there, no. He's at the back end of his career. He's got a lot of injuries lately, most notably with the knee. And I, he might have had another one that kept him off for the bike for the Monster Energy Cup. He's at the back end of his career and. It's probably his last season, so this skin will probably not end up with a 450 championship, which is sad because he's a good rider. Other than what happened at um, New Jersey 2017, please watch my last video for more info on that. But good rider, had a great career. Probably the end of this, probably the end of this, end of last season. So probably not gonna grab one of these. Sorry, Moose Scan. Our next rider. I could see pulling it off. I probably should have explained how this works. So how this is going to work is I'll go through all these riders and then the last rider I do is probably is my going to be my prediction for the year. But Ken Roxon is not at the end of this list. Um, he's the one rider out of these few riders I'm going to do who are probably not going to win it who can pull it off. Yes, he's fast. Yes, he is really good. But the man has too many injuries, and it seems that he gets sick at the wrong time of the year. The thing that bit him last year was the Arlington race, the rigged Arlington race. More on that when we get to Cooper Webb, because he is in this list. Um, Roxon's destroyed his arms too much. Um, he's probably, I can see him, he's probably going to get a race win this year. Championship, he can pull it off, but it's very, I'm very doubtful of it right now. We'll see what happens with him for this, for this season. i um, hoping for it, but I don't think he's going to get it. Why do I even need to put Chad Reed on his list? Let me tell you guys something. This is Chad Reed's last season. Re regardless of what happens the man is hurt too much he's what 39 years old but it feels like he's an 80 year old out there 30 38 39 whatever he is gonna be it's not old but for this sport that's elderly no he's not even gonna get a top 10 this year no I mean, we have Chad Reed's fans out here, that's fine, but don't come out here and don't comment on this video saying I'm completely wrong unless it does happen. No top 10s for Chad Reed this year, and for sure no title. Um, he's just too old, and he's last season, I'm calling it. It's sad when I'm putting him on this list, that's really sad. I am putting well-known riders on this list, but I'm putting Baggett on this list because he's going to get second in the championship this year. He will. And yes, I know I'm leaving one guy out, but he's more popular. I'm saving him toward the end. And uh, he Baggett's getting second in the championship this year. I'm calling it multiple race wins, 
not a championship because I'll say the I'll I'll keep it secret for now who I think is gonna win it. And Tomac fans come after me after the video. You're next, by the way. Baggett's not gonna win the championship because this class is way too stacked. Multiple race wins. He's really good. Mo I'm calling ten podiums for him. That may be a little bit extreme. I say I know people have been calling it for years now and it hasn't really worked out, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he wins Daytona. And I would say Glendale again, but it's a triple crown race this year. That's gonna be kinda hard. He has no luck at Anaheim. No championship for Baggett, but he's gonna be expect him to be up there battling for race wins, like consistently. Let's go. Okay, this is going to take a little bit longer because these Tomac fans can't shut up about how great Tomac is, yet he has zero championships to, to show for it. Let me tell you all something. This is for non-Tomac fans and Tomac fans. Eli Tomac is not winning the championship this year. I don't care how many wins he gets. Tomac is way too inconsistent. He gives up halfway through the race. And he decides to slow up on the finish line, like, like before the race is over. I'm calling out Houston of last year. You all know what happened. Um, and notice the picture I have up for him. He likes to pull his pants down during the race. I know he didn't pull his pants down here, but his like his pants like to come undone when he crashes. But let me say something. He's going to end up having the most race wins this year, but it's going to, Ricky and Ralph are going to be talking about it at the end of the year like they do every year. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. He should have actually tried half the year if he wanted this championship. Um, I'm sorry. Tomac's a great rider. Great on you guys for defending him. But he, he's going to be remembered as an outdoor rider, not a Supercross rider. And fun fact for new Supercross fans who are just getting into it this season. Uh, Tomac has the most wins ever without a championship. That's not, that's not a good record to hold. At all. Um, Tomac is way too inconsistent. Boneheaded mistakes. And he decides to give up halfway through the race. Remember Arlington last year. Remember it. Because it will happen again this year. And when he does have the red plate, he decides to get a 10th place start. That's exactly what's going to happen. Yes, multiple race wins. I'll even go as far as to say 10 race wins this year. No championship. He's probably going to end up with 50, 50 career wins like Stewart with no championships to show for it. This is a sad rider right here. Fast rider. Love seeing him race because he's the Colorado kid. And you know, Colorado's my hometown even though I've been there once in my life. But, he, uh, I'll, I'll give you this. He's going to win Denver this year and that's going to be great because I'm going to be there this year. And that's going to be great seeing him win his hometown race again. And he'll get a triple crown this year, I guarantee it. But, championship, he's too inconsistent. And he might make, likes to crash a lot. And make boneheaded mistakes. That's why Eli Tomac's not winning the championship. And we made it to the reigning champion, Cooper Webb. Yes, he had the most wins last year, and yes, I will say this a million times until people get it. I said it, I had to say it a million times in my triggering video before people got it. Uh, Cooper Webb got lucky last year, and you all know it. Tomac was not on his game. He hurt his back. That's okay. Playing it safe. Cooper Webb, I, and I'll say it again. I said it in the other video. I'll say it again. Cooper Webb only one run one one race straight up 
And that was Anaheim too. That was it. Let's let's go over his other ones. Oakland, Marvin Muskan was going to win had he not lost the front end or whatever he did. Went down in the corner. Um, who else? He was not going to win Minneapolis. The only reason he won Minneapolis is because Roxon took too long to get around to Vachi and couldn't do anything with him. Arlington, we all know what happened there when Roxon... Roxon was going to win Arlington, but Roxon, you know, he has a broken arm, or he, he doesn't... Roxon doesn't take those chances anymore. Detroit, he almost won. Not straight up, but he almost got handed Detroit. Good thing Telmac decided to stay on two wheels in that third main event. What else did he win this year? Did he get gifted this year? Um, I'm trying to think of what he won this year. Nashville? Did He, he won Nashville, but he didn't... Did he win any before that? Atlanta! Yes, Atlanta! Atlanta, I, no, he didn't win that one straight up. Marvin Muskan made too many mistakes, and nobody wanted to win that race, so everyone made mistakes. Roxon got a bad start. Tomac got a bad start in that race. Cooper just got a good start and flat out won because nobody, because Baggett and Muskan decided to take the fast line in the corner before the finish. Two laps before the checkers when it does not really matter anymore and then I think we can skip to Nashville uh yes we can skip to Nashville oh and one thing I did not bring up in the in the um triggering video which I should have brought up stupid of me I'll bring it up now Cooper Webb got lucky last year because of the Seattle incident I say if Seattle Marvin Muskan does not jump that red cross flag, then that championship, Las Vegas, is a better race. The only reason, I mean, Cooper Webb got handed that, uh, Cooper Webb got handed those seven points last year in Seattle, because his teammate, and plus, you know KTM paid some, paid John Gallagher to stick with the rule book. Because I, I tell you what, John Gallagher was not going to stick to that rule, back, rule book had KTM had Dungey on their team backing them up. And, and I'll throw some more shade at Cooper. Uh, Nashville, he was not going to win because, because um, Muscan crashed. Roxon was going to win that race, went over the berm with Savachi. And actually, no, he did not win Nashville. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, he did not win national. Tomac won that, but he got very close to it. And even if Tomac was not on his game that night, he was not going to win it. The only reason he could have won it is because Tomac decided, or Roxon decided to go over the berm because you know Roxon was going to win that race. He was coming through like a madman. And then we get to New Jersey. Tomac bunching up the pack. I, I, I don't think he's bunching up the pack there, but how about, how about, one, Eli Tomac crashing in the same spot twice, and how about two, Osborne blatantly pulling over for him. No, he did not screw up because he got excited because of his first win. He blatantly pulled over for him. He did that on purpose so that Webb could get extra points that he did not need. God, pisses me off. Alright, alright. Um, what else? Cooper Webb, he's a douche. I'm, well, he's not, I don't, I wouldn't say that because that's a little mean. But, he doesn't deserve anything. He doesn't. And, he got lucky. Hear that? Lucky last year. God, I should make a triggering part two. That would really be great. But I'm getting off topic. I'm getting too heated. Let's get to who I think will win the championship this year. And point out one reason he's probably not going to win it. 
And if you're wondering who this guy on a Husqvarna is with rock in the number one plate, no, it's not some stock rider or rider you'd see. Just put us the number one plate. It is the 2018 champion, Jason Anderson. Yes, Jason Anderson is going to win the championship this year. Why I say that? Because he was flat out good in 2018. He got some luck during it, I'll tell you that. Rocks and Tomac crashing. Ah, nice try, guys. Um, who else? Uh, that's all the luck I can think he got. He was just flat out good. Yes, he only won four races, but he was flat out good. But he's going to win it this year. He's back. The only reason he didn't win it last year is because of Anaheim won. And you could say A2, but I'm not going to say A2 because after A2, he broke his arm. Just because he got injured last year, he did not win that championship and gave it to his... I Question in the comments. Leave your answer down in the comments. Um, is KTM and Husqvarna like the same thing? I, I want to say they are, but I don't see it that way. I see them like different. Oh, by the way, if Millsaps was still racing for Rockstar Energy, it's funny how he'd be racing a Husqvarna now. I know he's retired now, but that I, I just think that's funny. Uh, I don't see KTM and Husqvarna doing the same thing. Because one, one team rides with Alden, Alden Baker, and the other team trains out in California. That's the only reason. And, you know, Husqvarna doesn't rig races like KTM does. Sorry, I'm throwing. I I cannot stand KTM right now. Um, so leave your, leave your answers down in the comments below. I'm pretty sure I'm totally wrong. They're totally the same thing. But um, Anderson's going to win it this year. The only reason he doesn't win it is because... Uh, Red Bull KTM is going to rig all the races and steal the championship away. Or AMA and Feld are going to get in the way and say, Nope, Red Bull KTM has to win it. That's the only way he doesn't win this championship. Other than that, he's consistent. He is the new Ryan Dungey, even though he comes to the pack a little bit aggressively. <laughs> Glendale 2019. Yeah, good try, guys. Um, this is my prediction for the year, um, Anderson's gonna come out with the number one plate. I mean, back in the day I hated Anderson, but, I mean, now that you think about it, like a year after, um, yeah, he earned it, and he's gonna earn it again this year, so, it's gonna be a great season, even though it may seem a little rigged. But it's still going to be a great season. Uh, I know I don't show my face that much on YouTube. But if you do watch my videos with my face on it. Then if you recognize me at Denver or possibly A2. I'll let you guys know. Actually I won't let you guys know because that's dangerous. Stay safe on the internet by the way. Um, if you see me at A2 or Denver this year. You are welcome to come say hi and tell me how wrong I am. Um, thank you so much, and I will see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, I know I don't get that many views, but thank you guys so much for watching. It is amazing. The views I do get, I get excited about every single one of them. And the comments I get, I love replying to your comments. Please tell me how wrong I am on these last two videos that I've made. The triggering one and this one. And yeah, it's. Thank you guys so much for all the support and the 51 subscriber. I know I didn't post for a long time, but thank you for staying in there and having hope. I. And I'm getting off topic again. That was the reason why your favorite riders will not win the championship this year. And my, per, my personal prediction of who would win the championship. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in another life. Bye!